this is a research for project four. I did the research in the Tisan Bultisan Museum in May. I choose pieces for this exhibition that I saw were relevant to me for different reasons. So let's see. Naturaleza en Muerta con Pájaro. This is a still life. This is just a bird sprayed with white paint. As you can see in the video, it's nothing really fancy, but I thought it was a very powerful way to describe death. It's just amusing. And the frame doesn't have a glass. You can only see the bird desiccated and painted in white. The next part is self shelf storage and collections. Uh, I was interested in what make the artist choose certain elements and what is the feeling that these elements give to the piece. Um, in the collection there were many of them, so I choose the ones I like the most, as you can see now. This is the centerpiece for this exhibition and it's quite interesting to see the selection of items the artist choose to uh, showcase in this shelf. I was fascinated how three-dimensional it looks. You, you feel like you can pick an object and take it out of a picture. It's, it's absolutely mesmerizing and fascinating. One of the things these shelves have in common is the many of the items that the painter put together in the piece seems not to have a real connection among them, which make the piece even more interesting because the viewer tried to make connections there. This piece is called Cut Board with Objects. It's done by an anonymous painter in Germany. And as you can see, they have like random objects. It looks to me like um, a cut board for uh, somebody who travels a lot and collect items from different places where he travels that they were very common in the 19th century. This is quite an interesting piece for me. Have this exploration uh, a feeling behind. The next painting is called Trampu Ulit with a statue of Hercules by Jean Ballet in 18th century. I hope I pronounce it correctly. One of the things I like the most again about this type of painting is the sense of traveling, collecting. People at that time used to write a lot of traveling books and things like that so it have the same feeling for me. In these paintings, what it seems to be important is the past of time, the how objects break down. But what is interesting to me is the collection of objects that the painter uses to create the piece. I know the curator says there is nothing special about this object, but indeed there are something special about it. She calling they are mundane, the everyday objects, but mundane and everyday objects has meaning where they are placed and what they choose to, to put in it and what they discarded is important for a reason. At least you as a viewer give them an interpretation. So that's why I was fascinated by this object. This is a similar example, but less detailed, but also you can see how is perceived like a you engrave a star, pieces of paper uh, turning apart. I'm, I'm having troubles to believe that the painter didn't have any intention when they draw a small piece of thread or, a, or, or, or grave an, engrave a name. It's, I, I think they might have some meaning to it. Unfortunately, the creator um, said that it isn't meaning on this, but I, perhaps you want to find meaning to it because it is there. This is one of my favorite from this part of the selection. I like the back of the canvas. It's also painted, it's not real canvas, but I, I think it's hilarious and I don't know, I, I really like it. I think it's fun, nice uh, piece of work. The next group of pieces represent the past of time. It seems that deteriorate over time, they are, get broken, the, the painting is split, nature coming takes over, and the meaning of this in their painting. 
also quite interesting group of work.